Tonight's class was spectacular. Sometimes everything just clicks and the students were getting it and pacing was good and they learned a lot and it just was a very enjoyable experience today. And it was in a good location. We switched that location from when I almost fainted. So that was good. It was a derailment on the uh, subway this morning. And there's just residual delays on all the lines. And it's kind of hot and humid today. And these Subway platforms are not pleasant. They're not that high up. City Hall. I showed you that before, but it looks pretty cool tonight. It's very clear, crisp, beautiful night. Crazy. It's 11 o'clock at night, and the subways are still a mess. Packed people. It's hot. A building is coming down fast. Probably going to be another big condo going up there. Maybe it's going to be attached to the one behind it that they're building. That one. What happens when it's a really beautiful night out like it is tonight is that there's so many people that are out and about and eating outside and drinking and enjoying the weather. Check this out. Got some trouble brewing here. Everyone's okay. And we'll be okay. Looks like it just just uh, was discovered. Watch it. That is not good. 
I'm actually working right in that building right there. <laughs> so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everyone's safe. in the past seven minutes it's already gotten a lot better so hopefully they're putting it out the uh, security guard said they turned off the ventilation in the classroom so um, it'll probably get hot but said they're gonna turn it on soon once it clears up see a little bit of the aftermath of the fire. Class is over, which means it's about four hours after I, we originally spotted the fire. And um, I guess they got it under control pretty quickly, but um, who knows about the people who live in that building. Hopefully there are no injuries. Actually need to go this way. Uh, hopefully there are no injuries. Uh, but people probably are going to be displaced from their homes, which is a bummer. Uh, but let's go check it out. We'll see how close we can get so we can see um, what's happening down there. Is everybody okay? They are? I don't know if you guys heard that, but the police officer said that uh, nobody got hurt, which is really good news. Starting, I could smell it down here. This is where the, uh, the building is. Probably hard to see because it's dark out. Uh, it was hard even for me to see the damage, um, so I'll we'll have to revisit it. But I was very happy to hear nobody got hurt. I don't know if you heard the firemen told me that a couple of firefighters had some minor injuries, but he said they were minor. So it's very good news. You guys remember uh, last week when we ran into the uh, free poetry? The guy that was writing the free poetry, well, he does that right up in this uh, subway station at Union Square that I'm walking to. So if there's not too much of a line, maybe I'll stop and have some poetry written. Uh, this is where that F this nonsense sign was last week. It looks like the MTA took it down or somebody took it down. Let's go see. It's 10.30 now, and we're going to go see if the poetry guy is there. Last week, this is where the poetry guy was. Remember that big line? Maybe he's closed. No poetry tonight. Maybe next time. It's definitely something that I want to get done.
go for a run? Does he always walk like that? Does he, does he have to use the bathroom? I don't know what's going on with that guy. Example, this is the Flatiron building, but this is the back of it. Uh, it's very famous what the front looks like. It kind of narrows into a very narrow triangle point. This is what the back looks like. It's pretty cool, but then look at the building they built close by. It looks like a needle at the top, that beveled edge. juxtaposition of uh, old and new, I guess. This is what the front of the flat iron building looks like. Very, very iconic. People enjoying the weather. Nice Friday afternoon for a holiday weekend. Including that guy, William Seward, Governor, U.S. Senator, Secretary of State. St. Patrick, Patrick's Cathedral, which is a magnificent Gothic church in Midtown. Now, this is a side street view, which uh, a lot of people don't often get, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Check it out. Kind of the front view that most people get, it's kind of to the side, but it seems like it's about to pour tonight. It's like it's like I'm gonna get rained on soon. And there you go, pouring. Yikes! I'm about to get soaked. Hard rain right there. I'm under a uh, temporary scaffolding right now, but I have to <laughs> I have to leave the scaffolding. Let up a little bit. Uh, still getting wet. But sometimes you don't have a choice. You just gotta keep moving. Get wet. It's only water. Oh, 
So this is Pig City, and it starts here, yeah, and about here. 650 pounds or so, it was about 90 pounds. The red girl inside here, Ruby, was, I, I remember thinking, I said to him, I would give $100 for a breath of fresh air right now. It's so gross to get it so thick with dead animals. What's the stuff on the side of the That's a red bottle. Oh, there you go. So hey. Mama walks up to me, and she's huge, but she's skinny. Faces, right? They, they exhibit psychotic behavior, right? Smashing their heads back and forth, right? Because of poor. Oh, I'm like, good, I can buy it. Oh, here. But the thing I'm definitely most known for is rescuing animals. I do a lot of crazy rescue stuff, uh, apparently. Um, like going to slaughterhouses and 